Ah, yes. The beauty of Mother Nature. The mighty Ohio River looking out. To the hills of... Hey, what's up, guys? About a month or so ago, I made a video called The Hiker's Friend with a, a Wemos D1 Mini. And uh, I use a BME 180, I think, something like that, just to give a temperature altitude for hiking. Well, this is going to be an updated version of that. This one I call the Climber's Friend. And it is going to give us more information, including net altitude gained or lost. So let's begin with the electrical connections. Well, first, let's go over what we got. A Nano a BMP280 or BME280 and an OLED screen. So our electrical connections, first we're going to create our electrical bus from the Arduino. So 5 volts goes to the red rail and ground goes to the blue rail. And that creates our power bus. So next, let's pick up the five volts from that rail and give it to our BME 280. And let's do the same thing and pick up our power from the bus and give it to our OLED screen. Now that we have power, let's do ground because we've got to have a complete circuit. So there's the ground for there. and the ground for our OLED. Next, we need to hook up our I squared C's, which are A5 for clock and A4 for data. So A5 is our clock pin. We'll go like that. Whoops, jumped right out of there on me. And A4 is our data. That comes over here like that. So now our BME is hooked up. And then we need to hook up our clock from the BME sensor. to the OLED, just a little parallel connection there. And finally, we need to do the same thing with the data to our data bus. Get them pins the right length. And of course, hitting the right holes is always good too. So that's it for our electrical connections. Nothing too spectacular there. It's all very simple. So the way this is going to work is when you first power it up or press the reset, it's going to grab your current altitude. And then as you move up or down in altitude, it will display your net altitude, whether it's a gain or a loss. Let's go look at the code. It's pretty simple. All right, let's take a look at the code for my climber's friend real quick here. We've got three libraries. We are using the wire library because everything is I squared C. The Adafruit sensor library, it works hand in hand with the BME 280 library. And finally, the Adafruit SSD 1306 library, which is the driver for our OLED screen. Now that OLED screen requires an OLED reset pin even though it's not used the default is pin 4 so I just leave it there now here we have defined sea level pressure in HPAs uh, for my area it's 1013.25 you're going to want to change that to whatever it is for your area so you get an active reading then we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit Adafruit, <laughs> Adafruit BME 280 library called lowercase BME 
and an instance of the Adafruit SSD 1306 library called display with the argument for OLED reset. Two simple variables, an unsigned long called display time, and a float called alt start, which is our starting altitude. Uh, if you're having a problem with low memory, you could easily change this unsigned long to just an integer. Then we have our serial begin. I always use that for debugging. We're going to begin our display with the display begin SSD 1306 switch APVCC with the hex address of OX3C. If you have one of these OLEDs from eBay or Alibaba or Banggood or anywhere else that's not Adafruit, um, this is probably the address that you need to use. Uh, the Adafruit library is looking for another address, but you can pop that in there and you'll be good to go. Now we're going to uh, clear the buffer out, and then this is just from that uh, BME280 library. Another little variable here called bool status, and then we say status equals BME begin. If not status, which means uh, it is no bueno, then serial print line no BME. Uh, then we're going to serial print default test. You can knock this stuff out here, it's really not necessary. Finally, we have to add this delay in here. You might be able to get away with a shorter delay. Five seconds work for me for the BME sensor to start so that we can grab our initial altitude. So here we have that variable recreated called out start, and it equals a read of the BME altitude sea level pressure HPA times 3.28084, which converts meters to feet. If you're of the metric persuasion, you can get rid of that and just deal in meters. Our loop here, very simple, calls the function print values and then waits the specified delay time, which we have right here set for two seconds. Now here is our print values. We begin by clearing the display. We set up where we want the display to print, print size and color. And then we're going to print on the first line temperature, the header, then also Following that, we're going to print the actual temperature, which reads in Celsius. I've converted it to Fahrenheit by multiplying it by 1.8 and adding 32. And finally, the units. Next, we do pressure, which is going to read in, uh, what is it, Pascals. I've converted it to read into inches of mercury by multiplying it by 0.0295. Finally, the altitude, which is read in feet, I've, or in meters, I've again converted it to feet here. And we're just going to grab it again for our now altitude. And we'll store that value to be used here in a minute. Then we're going to do the humidity. No uh, conversion is necessary. It's just a blank percentage. Then we're going to skip a line. And we're going to print altitude change equals... And here's where we're going to print it. And just a little bit of math here. Our altitude start minus our now altitude, which is going to give us an inverse. So if we're going up, it's going to show an in, in a negative number. If we're going down, it's going to show a positive number. We simply multiply it by negative 1 to switch it back to the proper sign. And then we show everything that's in the buffer. That's it. Fort Pitt. Ah, yes, the beauty of Mother Nature. The mighty Ohio River looking out to the hills of West by God, Virginia. Anyway, we're here because this is about the lowest point around. So we're going to set up our climber's friend right here. I'm going to try and plug it in one handed. Yeah, being more difficult than I imagined. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So it's going through its boot cycle. I know that might be kind of hard for you guys to read. We are getting an altitude of 571 feet. I'm going to zoom in here. 
Uh, that flicker outside is terrible. There is no flicker to my eye whatsoever. That flicker is only for the camera. I can't believe how bad that is. Okay. So from that, the lowest point, we are now going to head up to the highest point. Get in the car and drive up the hills. Stay with me if you will. All right, well, it looks a little bit better in the car, I guess. So it's time to roll. We're going to head up to the highest point in town. Okay, so there we are, about a one minute drive later, and an increase in altitude, about 150 feet. So now what we're going to do is reset this, hit the reset button, so now our altitude is zeroed out, and we're going to drive down the hill. And now you can see we have descended 111 feet. So that's The Climber's Friend. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to all of my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Peace.